Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Pinedo. Uh, today I will be demonstrating my Arduino relay tester uh, for elevator relays. Um, the purpose I designed this uh, device was because um, we're, um, I'm doing a repair on a very, very old uh, relay logic uh, elevator. Now what that means is this is pre-computers. So everything is actually programmed by the wiring of how you hook up your relays. These types of elevators tend to have from 35 to 200 relays. Now the problem is because these are so old, um, the relays are very expensive. Like the company that manufactures this one, if you can find any more of them, uh, they go about $85 each. You can find them on eBay used for about fifty dollars now there is a company that makes uh hard to find generics in the usa but even that um they charge about 33 to 35 dollars and uh, when you have to replace all the relays just to make sure it all works that's that's very expensive when you don't have a very very good budget as you can tell it has a lot of pins and it's a three pole two terminal dual terminal and these things run at 120 volts the coil now as you can tell this one's pretty burned out a lot of times the cases they crack off they'll crack off but it doesn't mean it's bad you just have to make sure the contacts are clean so what I decided to do is I would pull out I would pull out all the relays and I bag them up oh, there's my dog Hey, focus on and I would test them by creating this device now the way the device works is it uses three of its uh, analog to digital converters it sends through a voltage divider into the common of the relay all right and then it reads it right back through and it'll display the resistance now what it does is it'll read me uh, the contact for one, two, and three. Then, using a solid state uh, relay, as you can tell, it's low voltage in, DC in, and it allows AC through. And it is 120 volts hooked up straight. Now, of course, the Arduino and everything else runs on its five volts. So, uh, we'll give it a test. And this relay already tested it, and it has a bad problem. But I'll show you how um, it'll come up. So now it's ready to go. Push the button to test. That didn't sound good. Now what this tells me is uh, pin 1 had 97% uh, resistance, which that's very good because I made it very sensitive. But all the other pins just didn't show any data because this is just burned out. And you can hear the coils very loud. If I shake it up. Let's do another test. See, now two of them work. That means that is no good. That relay is is not usable. So the push button activates the microcontroller. And when it runs the test, you'll see this red light turn on when it's sending the 120 volts uh, to cycle the to activate the elevator relay. And um, so first we'll test... Uh, three poles and then activates the relay and then test the last three poles and gives me the percentages I didn't put the percentages sign because it just doesn't fit so you'll see uh, this light turn on and uh, here we go one more test and it beeps and it flashes when it's done um, I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm going to put another relay uh, so you can see how it works. All right, we're back. I switched the relay. This one, um, though, it um, it didn't give me a score that I was happy with. It showed um, contact errors. And what I mean about that is um, different resistance on the contact. So the inputs are white, green, white and of course then the two greens yellow and red 
I wish I had the harness for this, but even the harness is very expensive. And I put these here just to protect me because these are the high voltage points. But if we test this one, as you can tell, 91 is very good. 90 is good. 89 is still decent, but uh, see, because they're all different and the casing, I would probably put this to the side to clean the contacts and retest it. Unlike that other one we tested before, that one, garbage. Don't use that one. Uh, I will pause and I'll show you one more that I tested that actually worked well and how the results look. All right, we're back. Here's a good, clean relay. This is a generic. You can tell I uh, put them back in. And that is the test results. I'll show you right in front. Because I made it so sensitive, 91, all reading 91, that means that's a very good uh, connection. Um, it should be like 99 or 100. It's just I purposely made it very, very sensitive to resistance. Um, but that's how it works. A, B, C, E, D, E, F is all the, um, all the points on the resistor. No, on the, on the relay. It's Arduino-based. Of course, when we reset it, it'll take us back to the home screen. And, uh, the relay tester. And, uh, push the button. And we're done. Uh, any questions you have, uh, put them down in the comments below. I do my best to uh, answer them all. Uh, any question, uh, please comment, like, and uh, enjoy my other tech videos. I do them occasionally. Or anything you're curious about that I can make for you. Uh, and I'll try and I'll teach them. I'll teach it for you. The Arduino is a very fun device, and as you can tell here, I even put a little buzzard to tell me when it's done and the screen flash command. Um, just for fun. Why not? But this is going to save me a lot of money because now I know that relay is good. I don't have to replace the whole board. I put that in the good side. Like this one here is one of the really expensive originals. Even though the case is cracked, tested perfectly. So I put that on the good side. And that means we only have to find a couple of relays and we're back in business. But uh, thank you for watching. Good day.